other handy friends. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you how to make garlic mullein oil for your ears, ear infections or anything like that around the homestead. This is great to have throughout the winter. So stick with me and I'm gonna show you how it's done from start to finish. We're going to get out there and wildcraft some mullein flowers, then come back to the homestead and make this garlic mullein ear oil. For this recipe, we will be needing four minced cloves of organic garlic, four ounces of organic olive oil, and fresh mullein flowers. Mullein is found throughout the United States and Southern Canada in dry soil, preferring full sun. Be careful where you harvest your mullein as it is known to pull up toxins from the ground. Mullein is a natural pain and inflammation reliever. It is also an antiviral and can help boost circulation. It is also known to soften impacted earwax. Mullein is a biennial herb, only flowering on its second year and at the end of its life cycle before it goes to seed. In total, I foraged for approximately 40 minutes before I had enough flowers for my entire recipe. You know, this recipe is really, really simple. I have my husband dice me, almost mince me up, four cloves of garlic here and I have this four ounce mason jar that I'm going to be using. Here's some of the mullein flowers. I'm going to be going out getting more tomorrow. They're really hard to collect as you just saw. Over the next few days I will be adding more mullein flowers to this jar. To keep this fresh what I'm going to do is cover it with this olive oil. You don't have to use this brand olive oil but I would suggest you use an organic brand. All right, let's add some more flowers to this. I am suggesting organic garlic because it is not bleached or sprayed. We don't want any of that in our medicine. Garlic has antimicrobial properties that have been used millennia for healing the body inside and out. I'm going for approximately two, three ratio, so that would be two parts herb and three parts oil. This is my favorite method that I am going to show you, which is a two week process of letting this oil sit, mixing it daily in a cool, dark space. There are plenty of other ways to do it. Some people do it in the sunlight. Also, if you're in a hurry and you don't have a couple weeks, someone has an earache, you can do a fast version by double boiling on low heat for 30 minutes. It's been two weeks. I have been storing my jar in a dark, cool place, shaking it every couple of days. Now I am lining my sieve with this cheesecloth and I am going to strain my oil through this. This will help me get any extra debris out of the oil. This is a very basic recipe. If you are comfortable with this, you can consider going a little bit further and making a stronger medicinal oil by using St. John's wort and calendula, and this would help create a total pain relieving oil. Any oil placed in the ear can be uncomfortable, so to help curve this, especially for children, you can place the dropper bottle in a warm water until it reaches body temperature. You're going to want to place two to three drops in each ear laying horizontal for around five minutes, massaging the outer ear, repeating on the other ear. We have to remember that our ears are connected and so we do need to treat both ears. We never want to add oil to ears that are wet, so make sure the ears are completely dry and never add any oil to a ruptured or draining ear. You should seek medical attention. You can repeat this a few times a day and you can store it in a cool dark place for up to six months. As you can see, there's some debris in the bottom of the Pyrex, so that's why I double strained it. Be careful on squeezing the bag of oil too hard, you'll get a lot more debris in your oil. It's so easy to make this garlic mullein ear oil, anyone can do it. Be sure to label it and date it so that you know when six months has passed and enjoy. I'm so glad you've made it to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. Also, be sure to comment below so we can connect.